Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Navgo Bear. Goodness, I just noticed that QQ lost his alliance with Hedges. In that peace deal, the Ottomans made Hedges and QQ break their alliance. Well, he also annexed all of Egypt, but he made it, he made them break their alliance. So we could just go beat up QQ with impunity now. Uh, I really want to, because he has the Andamans and the Maldives, and this land over here ain't bad either. He doesn't really have any cores, does he? No. All his cores are like gone, so we won't vassalize him. We'll just take him for his land. I'll take you for your land, you son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitchin'. Son of a bitchin'. But yeah, we'll take him for a ride. The thing is, though, there's all this shit going on at the same time. We just annexed Denmark, so we're waiting for that overextension to go away. And then we're going to next Sweden, and we're going to wait for that extension to go away. Then we're going to next Poland, and we're going to wait for that extension to go away. And then we're probably going to be annexing Scotland or Brandenburg, or both. They're going to have to wait for that to go away. And then we can fight QQ. If we go to war with QQ now, we're just going to be sitting in another war for years and years and years. The timing, it's everything. The timing is everything. <sighs> Afghanistan and Oman, really? Oh. Purge of Afghan heresy. Oh, really? Oh. See, here's another opportunity. I could get relations up with Afghanistan and force Persia to accept peace, which he'll say no to, and then we can become the leader in the war against Persia and just take all the border provinces and also take all this stuff up here, which we can then sell to our vassal Punjab, and he can convert it all for us. Did I mention that Punjab has converted his, has converted a base 13 province to Orthodox already? This guy is a fucking genius. He's amazing. I'm so glad we have this guy as our little buddy. He's an administrative republic just like us, yeah. So good. So good. Am I going to convert this to Vic 2? Hell no. You out of your mind? What would be the point of playing this massive blob in the next version of, of Paradox games? It just doesn't make any sense. I, I I don't like moving games from one. Oh yeah, race times. I don't like moving games from one platform to another because you always wind up just blobbing out insanely. That's why with Sad Flanders, I stopped after like I think it was 130 years. We only played it for 130 years, and then we moved it to the next game so that we didn't, you know, just didn't go nuts and just blob everywhere. Because that's what you do in paradox games. I mean, you have to. It's it's the way the game is meant to be played. Anywho, let's continue on, shall we? We're still at war with Lithuania and Poland and what's left of Sweden. There's not much left of Sweden. Starting to siege up Poland. I don't think he has a whole lot of defenses because we squished his army, and that tends to make you a little weaker. So we're going to keep squishing and moving on. Moving on up. Oh, there he is. Hello. He's not even going to come fight me. He's like, I'm going to stand here in Sadomirts, and it'll be fine. Who's this? Peace from Sweden. No, go suck my balls, Sweden. Sweden, who's that? They won't exist very long. As soon as Denmark's done coring, there won't even be a Sweden. Selengi. Revolt in Selengi. Oh, shit. Revolts everywhere. What's the revolt risk these days? Eh, it's pretty bad. I mean, it's not the best. It's not the worst, not the best. Not mediocre. It's pretty bad. How's this shit going? So I was tempted to culture convert these things. What would that cost? Oh, we can't do it because it has nationalism. It does? Nationalism plus six. Oh, okay. Well, that'll go away eventually. As soon as the nationalism goes away, then we can culture convert it, and then we won't have to worry about the revolts over there. But, yeah, all in good time. Uh, are you going to run away? Don't run away. No, he's not going to get away. He tried, though. You fucking tried to get away, didn't you? Yeah, you fucking tried. Didn't work, did it? Stupid de stupid Poland. Who do you think you are? Alright, so let's go squish him. Squish. Ah, shit, a revolt in Chongqing. Uh, okay. I can handle that. And this should kill... This kills the crab. There we go. Goodbye, crab. So let's start sieging up a little bit. A little more. And a little more. 
and a little more. All right, Carpet Siege. Not super necessary to Carpet Siege Poland because we're not going to be able to peace out anytime soon. It's going to take a long time before we can peace out. But that's okay. All right, Govialte is finished. Move on. Okay. And my vassal Ukraine is having a good time just sieging up everything. He's a good vassal. It's too bad that we're going to be annexing him soon. Man, these opportunities, though. We're missing out on a chance to go eat Scotland. He has no allies. We could just go annex him right now. But overextension problems and it's just it's you can't you can't ignore overextension problems all right those guys are toast Wow, we lost 9,000 soldiers fighting them. Zero, 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 zero. Wow. Brutal. Oh, Milan's getting invaded by Venice. What is this? Uh, Venetian conquest of Cremona. Okay. Venice is allied to Bohemia. So Bohemia is helping, okay. And France has not peaced out yet, which is surprising, because they haven't done anything, and the war's been dragging on for four years now, and France has not peaced out. I'm proud of France for hanging in there. And uh, these cores are coming in pretty quickly. The last one's going to be March in three years. Okay, not that bad. As soon as that's done, we can annex Sweden. All in due time. QQ is improving relations with us. Oh, that ain't going to work, QQ. I want to annex you so bad. I want to annex you so bad, QQ. So bad. Hmm. Chelmno fell awfully quickly. Revolt in awesome. Okay. Show me. 18. God damn it. 18 rebels. Uh, we're going to have to build new units down here. I don't think the stack is just beefy enough. Traitor in the parliament. Gain war exhaustion or kill the traitor. Oh, shit. Well, war exhaustion costs 75 points to reduce. So we'll take the war exhaustion. Rebels in Sichuan. Goddamn rebels. So many rebels. Stop it. Go away. So mean. Why can't you let us live in peace? Always up here with your rebel propaganda. Okay. And then... Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, good. Thank goodness. Okay. Group up an Ostprusen, please. There goes Krakow. Alright, what was the peace? Show me the peace deal. What could it be? Austria have accepted peace with Venice. Milan will cede Cremona to Venice. Alright, so Venice now has more of northern Italy, but France still has the lion's share. And France is so much more scary than Venice right now. France is ridiculously scary. I like that France is allied to Atze and Majapahit, because that makes sense. Totally makes sense. Also, why are you not hating on France right now? Uh, yeah, Spain. We're going to sabotage reputation. Take that, Spain. Son of a bitch. How are we on our rivals? Mm, we are embargoing all three of our rivals. Yeah. 
looks good. I really wish we had more than 1% taxation right now. That is not enough. We need more taxes. Someone's going to have to show me how to get taxes. We're just not getting that. We're not getting the taxes. Dead. Good times. You know what? Why don't you kill them while you're here and then go back? Afghanistan will convert to Shia. Whoa! Are you kidding me? You converted them to Shia. Woo! Wow. Darn. Okay. I'm surprised Persia and the Ottomans are getting along, considering they're different religions. But I mean, I guess they're similar enough that they can handle it. They simply don't like people who are different religions than them. Different groups. Oh no, we're discovered. Doesn't matter. You can just send them right back again. There's no delay. Why would there ever be delay? I don't know. But there isn't. Alright, two more years till we can peace out with Sweden. I guess just put the speed all the way up. And man, we, we carpet sieged Poland so fast. Holy shit. Ooh, Yakut has been discovered. Show me. There it is. Hello, Spain. Siberian Spain. What? It's more likely than you think. Oh no, you're discovered. Again. Doesn't matter. Group up. Okay. Alright, Poland. What can we do with you? I really wish he was small enough to make a vassal. Lithuania, Bavaria, Brandenburg, and Salzburg. We're behind on admin and trade tech. Only a little bit. I mean, this this has no effect on our tr our tax income. It it affects your production income, but not your taxes. And diplomatic has no effects on taxes. It only affects its trade income. And our production and our trade are okay. We're getting sixty bonus and forty bonus, but for taxes, we're only getting a one percent bonus. So it's not the tech. Could be this administrative efficiency, but even then, that's several 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 techs ahead you're looking at nine techs ahead hmm i'm keeping my diplo points high because i want to be able to annex uh my vassals after this war's over land force limits nice next up is discipline and forced march forced march production does not affect taxes taxes affect production Production is a completely separate thing. And if you don't know exactly what you're talking about, don't tell me I think this or I think that. I am more interested in knowing what people actually already know. Nothing personal or anything. Just hearing suggestions from people who don't know it just doesn't really help. Religious unity and revolt risk. Well, we do have some revolt risk. Oh, shoot, call for peace. Call for peace. Well, we can't choose to lower or raise authority. That's all done by events. We haven't had any of those events in the past 45 minutes. Which kind of sucks. And yeah, call for peace. Oh. That could be bad. I mean, we don't really have much exhaustion right now. But it will grow. Every month, this increase will increment. So it'll go from 0.02 to 0.03 to 0.04 to 0.05 every month. Until it becomes unbearable and you're forced to peace out. Really disappointing. Found some iron in Sakha Lane. Good times. How do you raise or lower tax percentages? You don't. You don't. 
Whoa, England's at war with Scotland. What is this? English reconquest of Northumberland. Oh, God. Mecklenburg and Portugal. Ooh. So we could go in and vassalize Scotland. Nah, not going to bother. It's, it's timing, man. It's all about timing. Rebels. Siberian nationalists. Haven't seen them in a while. Uh, who's closest? I don't think I have anyone close to that. Oh, you guys can do it. Okay. Uh, yeah, split in half and go party. I'll take a general, though. Oh, I got a general? There's a general. It's a pretty good general. Yulian? Yulian Senyavin. He's pretty good. I like him. Kill that bastard and then come back. Native uprising in Taiwan. Ah, whatever. Hey, we converted Calm. Nice. Next. Dorno Govi. Yeah, go for it. So the religious map mode over here is slowly getting orthodox, but it's going to take a long time before we orthodox all this shit up. Now, England's just going to annex Scotland. Oh, of course we're going to keep our guy. Keep Varfolomi. How old is Varfolomi? He is... 59. Oh, well, keep him anyway. He might die. It improves his stats. Become Defender of the Faith. You get plus 5%. But do you get any bonuses that are worthwhile? Morale, morale. War exhaustion, that's nice. Prestige, missionaries, eh. I kind of think Defender of the Faith is a little underpowered. It's good, but it's not that good. I, I would I would find it more tempting if it also gave you missionary strength. If it gave you the ability to convert provinces that were tough, I would do it. Uh, but it doesn't do that. Rebels. On my island. It's my island. Stupid rebels. Oh, I was discovered in Spain. Whatever. Send him again. You got discovered. No one cares. Good. Good. Uh oh, revolt Narki. That's in Sweden. Um, eighteen. All right, let's take care of that first because it's closer. Kill them, and then I'll steal your general. Go on. Kill them all. The trial. Ooh. Gain a whole bunch of points. Don't mind if I do. Alright, you can stay there, but I'm taking your general. We're going to put him over here, kill the rebels, and then get back on the boat. Wait, I thought I, thought I took him out of the army over here. No? No leader. There he is. Benign neglect is always, if it moves, tax it. More taxes are always the answer. Rebels. Fuck you, rebels.
At least these guys die quickly, right? And we're almost done with our cores on Denmark. 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 Dunmac. Dunmac. Good place, that Dunmac. They make good chili fries. And I know y'all like some chili fries. Group up. Kill him. Oh man, the deaths. We're killing them pretty well. Oh, nice. They fucking squished. They squished. They squished. Squish. 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 Are we still orthodox? Yep. Where does soccer come from? From association football. It was one of the slangs for football at the time. And yes, slang words do become accepted over time. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Rebels. In my vagina? More likely than you think. Get over there. More rebels. Oh my goodness. And Bornholm. Oh man, that's going to stop my coring progress. That is not cool, bro. Not cool, bro. How dare you slow down my coring progress? Didn't you know that I'm a man? I'm 40? I'm a man. I'm 40. All right, pause. There we go. Hey, free manpower. Neat. How about we take that after we lose a bunch of dudes in Bornholm? Sounds like an idea. So let's lose some soldiers in Bornholm. Oh, yeah, we're losing soldiers there for sure. <laughs> a lot. Didn't even put a general in that army. Come on. There we go. Then we'll take the manpower. Well, let's go home first. Bowding. Okay, Kurgan. More rebels. Fuck's sake. I'll just leave that pop-up up. It can do whatever it wants. Kill him. Why can't I click on this shit? Oh my goodness, what's with all the rebels all of a sudden? Culture convert all the things? Well, that's one of the things we can't actually do. They made culture converting very difficult because they required that you do not have any nationalism in the province. And nationalism sticks around for a long time. So they made culture converting very difficult. I don't know why they did it, but they did. It is a thing that they have done. Yay, cores are coming in. Good. So what's our overextension? 32. We still have to wait for one more core to finish. Should be fine. What's our... Oh, get that war exhaustion down, please, if you don't mind. Maracaibo defected to Portugal. Okay. It's not my land. I don't care. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Son of bitch. Alright. Free manpower. Good times. And you can just come back to Shaanxi, no problem. And you have a lot of rebels to kill. Chong King, of course, more rebels. Rebel Simulator 2014. All right.
right, core is almost done in Jaland. Great. Denmark is gone. Long live Denmark. Annex Norway. I'm sorry, Sweden. Annex Sweden, whoever these guys are. 72 overextension from annexing Sweden. Wow. Core it. Core it. Core it. Excellent. And uh, at this point, I think because of our war exhaustion, we should probably just peace out. I don't want to have to keep pumping down our war exhaustion. Let's start annexing some of our vassals. Uh, so yeah, let's let's get out of this war. Give me a Diplo Derp. Hey, Vagina Guard left the coalition against us. Good. I wouldn't recommend that coalition anyway. It's not not the best. All right, so diplomat, please. Please pause. Thank you. All right. So if we give these lands back to my vassal, one, two, three. That's 63 war score. We still have some to play with. Uh, just take a little bit. How much OE are we at? 76, but that'll go down to 72. So we can take up to 28 in this peace deal. Okay. 16, 28. There we go. All right. And we have claims on all that shit? No, we don't have a claim on Chelm, no. Sirads? We do have a claim on Sirads, but that's 40. It's too much uh, overextension. So we'll take Chelm, no, instead, even though we don't have a claim. Okay. That works for me. Poor Poland. Poor, poor Poland. Okay, done. Uh, anything else we want to do to these guys? Oh, we left out those. Darn it. There. Oh, well, that's exactly a hundred war score, but he won't do it. Really? I actually have to go beat you up? Are you kidding me? Look, I'll go siege your capital, okay? I'm not gonna beat you up. I can't believe he won't take a hundred war score. I mean, I guess. I don't know. I thought for sure he'd be down with a hundred war score. What a greedy some bitch doesn't want to get, doesn't want hundred war score peace deal. No, I'm winning. You're not winning. I'm winning. Saying it doesn't make it true. He's not winning. Did we ever finish Portugal? No, we did not. Portugal is in the twilight zone. We did get a lot of achievements, though, and that was kind of the point of Portugal, was to get a ton of achievements. Oh, rebels in Stockholm. 24,000 rebels. All right, we'll pick up some dudes for that. We'll pick up some dudes for that. Do I have a general or something? This guy. This motherfucking guy. Uh-oh, what happened? Manchu is at war with Mongolia, okay? Those guys are toast. Uh, Voronez, is that Russian? I think it is. Voronez. If I could ever remember where all these places are, I'd be a fucking genius. But I don't. Voronez. I don't know. Uh, look it up. V O R. O R. There it is. It is Tatar. Okay, I don't want base tax if it's Tatar, so we'll go for the manpower. I get that question a lot. Why don't you just take the base tax? I always take the base tax. You should take the base tax, then. Base tax is better. I always take the base tax. Base tax is amazing. Um, yes, but. I actually don't want base tax if it's a culture that is not my main culture. If that makes any sense. No, he still won't take it. Alright, I mean, he's 16 points off, so it's like a couple battles or we siege his capital. 
And Ukraine is going to be killing his army. And maybe once his army is dead, maybe he'll accept peace? Let's see. Nope. Not yet. All right, fine. We'll see just capital. Uh, Nadim. Okay, we can do that. No problem. The Orthodox faith is rocked. The religion in Plock changes to Catholic. Plock? Aw, oh, fuck you, Plock. I spent probably a couple years converting you to Orthodox, and now he is Catholic. My god. No, he still won't take it. He's close, though. Six points off. All right. All righty, then. Uh, you guys are done over here? You done playing King of China or whatever the fuck you're doing down here? Looks like you're done. Uh, what else? Ermland. Okay. Oh, I can handle that. If I could get a general, I could handle that. Where's my generals? Jesus Christ. You're busy. No, you're not busy. Give me that general. Seaman. Seaman. If that is your real name. Senhor Seaman. Me amo Seaman. I guess I can just peace out Poland and then peace out Lithuania. Ooh. There we go. I mean, he'll do that. And then get rid of your alliances with whoever. No, keep your shitty... I like, how, I like that he has shitty alliances. These are so shitty. I like that. Uh, I can't force religion. It's too much. Hmm. Yeah, and I can't hit either, so fuck it. Onward! Okay, goodbye, Poland. That war is over. This game is ogre. Alright, give me my diplomat. I said give me my diplomat. Son of a bitch. Alright. Now he'll accept peace. Okay, uh, anything else I want to do? No, not really. And we can't do religion. It's 194. Okay, fuck it. Just go. Done. And we did not go over overextension limit. Good times. And now we're at peace. Good times. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, right. We have to give you a gift. I forgot. We must give the Irish a gift. And, oh my god. Are we out of money or what? Talking about giving him a gift. I don't have any money. You know what? I'm going to take a 655 ducat loan. Just because we can. And let's come back from Erland. There we go. And let's start annexing this fool. Austria is the emperor. Oh, Western arms trade is no longer affecting us. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Well, whatever. Uh, are you done? No, you're still roaming around? Okay. Fine by me. And let's... Uh, are Ukraine... Are you almost ready, Ukraine? One in uh, 86... Oh, yeah, we can get Ukraine. Just gotta wait. Okay. Ukraine can wait. France doesn't hate us or anything. Spain does hate us, but eh, fuck Spain. Hashtag fuck Spain. Scotland's doing okay, actually. I'm surprised how well off they are. If England and Scotland keep in this war for a while, I'll just go in and next Scotland or vassalize them or something. Lithuania is improving relations with us, okay? Oh, that's right. He's not in the coalition either. We should fabricate on him. Uh, we can't. We have to wait for a diplomat. Okay. We can fabricate on Poland. Yes. Uh, fabricate on Sandomierz. There we go. Good times. So we got claims all over Poland anyway, right? Yeah. We'll get more. As soon as we annex Ukraine, we can get some more. Uh, Otse became a protector of France. Okay. Good times. Good times. Oh no, we were discovered in Madrid fabricating claims. Oh, not fabricating claims. We were... Oh, an insult. Manchu has sent us an insult? Are you... Are you off your rocker? 
You just sent me an insult, Manchu. Let me just go over this here, see exactly what the Manchu were thinking. So, Manchu, uh, there they are. Manchu with 33,000 guys just sent an insult to the nation with 200,000 guys who he borders directly. And we currently have 31, 21, 22, 29, so 30, 70. We have 100,000 dudes on his border and he sent us an insult. Wow. That is brass balls right there, man. Balls of steel. Wow. Holy shit. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's let's get annexations going because that sounds fun. Good times. Except for the whole rebels. I mean, there's rebels everywhere. Wow. That was a lot of spam. And wow, rebels. Yeah, rebels. Good times. Did you know that we're playing Rebel Simulator 4000? Because we are. Alright, so let's group up Nietzsche and. No, let's just go straight over here. Fuck it. Yep. And let's annex Ireland. Ireland, give you a gift. Not possible to give a gift when we have a loan. What? We can't send a gift when we have a loan? What? So I can't annex my vassal now. I just have to wait until I can repay my loan. Be, I don't know when. Years. I can't lower funding on my armies. Wow, that was super shitty. Oh well, we'll deal with it next time. That